Hey, what up dudes? All right, I'm gonna make this quick because I lost my video editing capabilities. So this has to go straight from my camera onto YouTube. So, sorry about that. I'm out here flipping these logs trying to make these raised beds today. I couldn't resist making this fucking, this, uh, this fucking, this fucking video. Video? I don't know. I couldn't resist making it. Um, without further ado, here we go. So, we all hear pine bark is edible, right? I'm chopping down this, I'm, I make my raised beds out of four foot lengths, chop this off a tree. Now, I've eaten pine bark before, right? And it, uh, but I ate it off a really small tree. And uh, this tree is 12 inches in diameter. We all know pine bark as a uh, survival food, you know, a, a famine food for a lot of native tribes. Um, so anyway, I ate it off a small tree once and I think I didn't actually eat the cambium layer. I thought to myself, God, this tastes like fucking shit. It tastes like turpentine. I think I was eating the actual wood here. I think the cambium layer is more pronounced on a pine tree that is uh, uh, larger. This one's 12 inches in diameter. So, here the, here's the bark. Just to show you here. I don't know if you got a good cross section there. Probably not. But that that's the cambium layer right here. Let's see if I can... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Try and one-handed pull this shit off. Alright. And you can see that it comes, it peels, whoops, right off the bark. Like that, huh? So that's cambium, the cambium part of the pine tree. That's, whoa, supposedly this shit's loaded with carbohydrates and when you eat it, it doesn't taste that turpentiny. There's like a hint of it, but not much. And uh, it, when you eat it, it tastes real gummy, right? Now, one thing, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a gum that wanes over time, right? It, it uh, you're chewing all the carbohydrates up basically and saliva is absorbing it and giving you whatever little energy is in that shit. But uh, one thing I thought was interesting about this was they use this as a famine food, right? And it's springtime, so that means all the sap is flowing. I don't know if I'm right about this. I'm not like a dendrologist or any shit like that. But this, it's springtime. It's a late spring here. We still got a bunch of rain and the sap is flowing up. Uh, the outer layers. So I wonder if it's got more carbohydrates and or peels away from the bark so as easily because, look at this chunk right here. Woo. There's a whole shit ton of it. Because the sap is running. So maybe in winter time, this shit isn't as easy to peel away, but I think I just tried it on too small of a tree. Cause this layer is pretty fucking thick, man. And I don't know if you could boil this or or what, but this it doesn't. Some some bites taste like turpentine, other bites taste like nothing, like water. Um, but it's definitely not the turpentiny shit that I ate off the little tiny pine tree. So I'm probably making this a quick video. I just want to show you guys that um, I never see too many people. You know, it's I'm harvesting this on my land. You can't really harvest these trees on public land, so I never see too many people online talking about or showing how to eat pine cambium. That's the shit right there, and then the wood actually starts there. Let's see if I can peel off. I gotta take this bark off from my raised beds anyway, so get my hands on there, it'll be sticky. Get this shit off here. Hercules! See look at all that in there. This is all cambium. Right here. Got a big old strip of that shit. So, and that's it. <laughs> anyway, I, I just wanted to show you guys. I guess I can't, I don't have the luck. You want some? You want some cambium? Come on, Goody, get some cambium. Goody don't like it. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, good boy. Oh, there he goes. Goody likes the cambium. <laughs> so, I just thought I'd show you. I don't really have the luxury to think about what I should have said or what I could have told you, but that's definitely what I wanted to show you. Just get go on camera, someone harvesting, chewing, and eating cambium. The right shit, right? Not the shit that I ate earlier, way a long time ago, like four years ago. And I was like, oh, I'm not even sure if I'd eat this shit if I was starving. This shit is, you can, you can wolf this down, right? And you, obviously, you don't have to chop down the tree to get to it. 
and I don't know, like I said, it might not come off as easy and as distinctly in like other seasons. We've had some, it's been real wet here lately, so that's something to keep in mind, but I don't know. Kind of a lot of food. Don't know like the caloric intake of of what that shit is, but uh, mm, better than dying. I'm not sure. I think it's only carbohydrate too. I haven't looked up the nutritional content, the calories, nothing like that. But as you know, the next big challenge in the Yule series is figuring out what kind of shit we can eat in the woods. So <laughs> we got quite a few pine trees around here. And worst case scenario, I'll make some like fried pine noodles or something. <laughs> All right, later guys.